In this video, I wanted to introduce some notable new Skyrim mods for the third week of May 2024. At first, let's talk about character-related mods. Starting with Fetri L. This mod adds a beautiful elven female follower whose facial features are stunningly attractive, complete with high-quality physics-based hair. She is an amazing follower that pairs exceptionally well with the mysterious knight armor she dons. From her lipstick to the tattoos on her jawline and forehead, she boasts a remarkably beautiful appearance. The only downside is the lack of a custom voice. But despite this, her overall aesthetic is so outstanding that I felt compelled to introduce her to you first. Next up is the follower dialogue expansion for Lydia. As I frequently introduced this mod in previous videos, this mod is specifically tailored for Lydia. This mod adds 180 new lines of dialogue for her enhancing the player's interaction with Lydia to be more diverse and immersive. Since Lydia is a companion from the early stages of playing Skyrim, opting for FDE to improve her dialogue seems like a great choice. As most players travel with Lydia, her varied dialogue will undoubtedly bring new vitality to Skyrim. In this segment, we will introduce the hidden gem mod, Skyrim Directional Combat. We've previously introduced the Skyrim Directional Combat mod on this channel, and it has undergone quite a few changes with the recent update to version 8.0. To introduce this mod, it provides players with a directional combat system. Inspired by dueling games like Kingdom Come, Mordhau, and For Honor, it moves beyond simple defensive actions to include more realistic and historically accurate combat animations. One of the major advantages of this mod is its four-directional attack and defense system. With this mod, you can defend and counter attacks coming from the top, left, right, and bottom directions using a unique mechanism. Players select the direction to defend using the mouse or gamepad stick. For example, if an enemy's attack is coming from the upper right, the player can move their shield to the upper right to block. In this way, Players must predict the direction of incoming attacks and adopt the appropriate defensive stance. Attacks are executed in a similar manner. Players aim their weapon in the direction they wish to attack. While combat can become quite challenging when facing many enemies, this innovative mod provides an intense level of immersion during one-on-one -on -one battles. Despite its innovation, it was personally disappointing that it didn't receive much attention but the recent major update has brought many improvements, and I found it to be quite enjoyable when actually used. If you're interested in experiencing combat styles similar to those in For Honor or Kingdom Come, this mod is certainly worth trying out. In this segment, we'll introduce mods related to immersion. First up is Hunter's Loot and Skin Animals. This mod allows Skyrim's hunters to loot and skin the animals they've hunted. When hunters catch their prey, they approach the carcass to loot items. If you have installed Dynamic Animation Replacer or Open Animation Replacer, a skinning animation will play. And if Simple Hunting Overhaul is installed, hunters will actually skin the carcass. Features like these enhance the hunting experience, making it more realistic and immersive for players, as they can observe hunters doing more than just killing the animals. Next up is the MCO Pickaxe Moveset. This mod offers an attack motion that mimics actual mining when using a pickaxe. While the pickaxe can still be used to attack enemies, it now employs a mining-like motion, allowing you to feel as if you're truly mining when striking ores with it. In MCO, swinging a pickaxe too flamboyantly seemed unnatural, but this mod has allowed miners to use the pickaxe more naturally. If you're also using MCO, you might find it worthwhile to enhance your pickaxe motion through this mod for a more authentic experience. Next up is Significance of Strength. Simple attack bonuses for high weight sliders. This mod is designed to grant additional melee attack damage based on a character's weight slider value, allowing heavier and more muscular warriors to inflict stronger damage. It automatically assigns attack damage bonuses according to the NPC's weight slider values, and players can opt to receive this bonus as well, which can be configured via the MCM. Introducing this mod was inspired by the potential for a new layer of fun in Skyrim, 
if used in conjunction with a mod that adjusts the weight slider in real time, based on the amount of food consumed by the player. If you can control your character's weight by the quantity of food they eat, you will be increase their weight to gain more powerful attacks. In this segment, we'll be introducing mods related to visuals. We have about four to showcase, starting with the Royal Seat, a noble bench chair and throne replacer. This mod replaces the models for noble benches, chairs, and the solitude throne within the game. It's designed with low to mid polygons, and most textures are in 2K resolution, with 4K used where appropriate. From a simple replacer version without ESP to versions compatible with the base object swapper, this mod offers a variety of options to suit your preferences, allowing for a customizable installation. Next up is the Universal Rim Lighting Fix. This mod is an SKSE plugin file that resolves the rim lighting issues for actors' equipped armors, clothes, and creatures. Previously, body slide work was required to remove rim lighting for each vanilla outfit, but with this plugin, such work is unnecessary. It removes all rim lighting effects, not just on outfits, but also on various potion effects. If you don't like rim lighting, this mod is the solution for you. Next up is Tomato's V3 Farmhouse Parallax. This mod upgrades the textures for farmhouse buildings. It offers resolution options of 4K, 2K, and 1K, and supports complex parallax materials. Additionally, there's Half Face's small edit of Cave Lamps, a replacer that enhances the models of Cave Lamps. While mods like these can improve the visuals of Skyrim, it's important to remember to choose a resolution that is suitable for your computer. Finally, we have the Gorm Armor, a versatile lightweight armor mod for both men and women, recently released by creator Fuse on Test Nexus. This outfit includes four pieces, boots, gauntlets, armor, and a helmet. The helmet's horn decoration, shoulder fur, and waist horn trumpet blend, seamlessly with Skyrim's aesthetic. While the outfit offers minimal exposure, it boasts high quality design. Adding Gorm armor to your mod list will undoubtedly enhance your Skyrim experience with its impressive and well-crafted look. Thank you for joining us in today's video, showcasing the must-have new Skyrim mods for the third week of May 2024. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, leave a like, and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of our future videos. As we wrap up, Make sure to grab these essential mods to enhance your Skyrim experience. Stay tuned for more exciting content. And until next time, happy modding and happy gaming.